Hi, James Whiffen here for Plugin Everything, and today we're going to do a quick overview of the OCD Renamer plugin, which is gonna make sure that your layers are named very nicely. So the first thing we can rename is based on effects. Here I have two adjustment layers, each with different effects applied. And if we come over here and select effects, we can rename based on those. You'll notice that we have three levels here, but uh, OCD is smart enough to realize that we don't want all three of them put into the name. So you might notice that hue and saturation has been renamed to HSL and you can set up custom names for that if you select the layer or layers and shift click the preferences menu. The effect will pop up here. We can see that it's called Adobe Hue Saturation. This is the match name for the hue and saturation. And we can see that we've created a custom name HSL there. And we've also set up some other custom names and make sure you hit save, otherwise the preferences won't be saved. Now if we click here, we can see QCA and noise has been renamed. And if you want, you could label the adjustment layer anything you want, say effects, because this is an effects layer. And then we could set it to suffix. And then that way we'll have effects and then the effect names listed here. This little thing here is set up in the preferences as a connector. And this is the separator here. So for example, you could change these to say semicolon or something else, an underscore, you don't have to use those, you can fully customize those. And if you have say 20 effects applied to a layer, it's going to use a maximum number set here so you don't have to crowd your layer and you can also set that for children. Another thing we can do is instead of using the full name for effects because some of them are quite uh, lofty, we could just use the first four letters or just the initials. So let's preview what just the initials is and just to note that is for effects that you haven't custom renamed. So now let's add something that we haven't done. Let's add a CC particle systems 2 and now it's called CPSI. So let's go into the parents example to show off the children. And currently we have three text layers parented to two different controller layers here. And again, if we just hit command A and then click change the name, I'm just gonna set that to replace, change the name based on parent. We can see that this is a child of the controllers here. Or we could do the inverse and rename the parents based on the children. We could also set that to suffix so that we could keep the name of here we could keep the original name and then say that it's the child of controller. And if we shift click that, we notice that that's gonna make a change uh, project wide and not just per composition. The last example we have, we can rename based on mat. So I'm gonna select the layers here and we will set that to replace. And then we can see that the type of mat is named here and then the plate is labeled with the semicolon. And again, that, that is set up in the preferences. For the mat, we have type and then the name. So if we wanted to, we could just remove that there, save that. If we do this again, it's not going to include the name of the plate. It's just going to label it based on the type of mat that it is. And we can also customize what each of the type of mats is named. So for example, if we didn't want alpha inverted, that's a bit long. We could just put it to alpha inverse, something like that, and then save it. Then that's going to shorten those a bit. So that's about it. Thanks for using the product. And if you have any technical difficulties, please open a support ticket on ascripts.com.